Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Hassan, this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Supergirl, Season 3, Episode 7, called Midvale. And I'm very sorry, I'm super, super late. I've been slammed and I just finished watching it a few minutes ago. So um, we started with Kara and now it's going home. And then Kara and her um, adoptive mom, Liza, talk and it's like, if you need to uh, just be if you need to be sad just be sad it's just that i can't do that right now people need me and all this type of stuff and Liza says like it's okay to be sad if you need to be sad but she said i'm doing better but uh, i don't have time for that and then we have car and alex talk and then alex gets um, mad at her because you know she car has been like a debbie downer for like six months and she's telling Alex opened up after two days. And she's like, buzz off. I'm not doing that. And then we have a flashback to 10 years ago where Cara and Alex bicker about like not sharing the bathroom or doing this and doing that. And then Cara doesn't like being in school. And she she knows a lot of stuff. Like she already knew all the calculus work and all this stuff. The type of says that's easy. She doesn't really care about history. And so she doesn't really like being in school. And then, uh, then we go to Carl's school and Alex's school, and then Alex shows her up in history class, but Carl shows her up in PE class. Then Carl um, hates bullies as um, a nerd person. Um, Kenny talks, uh, tries to talk to Alex, but she brushes him off, and then sits with um, Carl. But she doesn't like bullies because of the. Um, the jock was talking about knocking down his lunch stuff and all that type of stuff, so that wasn't good. But they sit together, so that was fun, and you know they got along. And then um, the Kenny invites her to go to the forest to go look at um, the stars and stuff, so they go do that. And it was a little awkward because um, he tried to kiss her, but she kind of just kind of played it off a little bit, and so. Um, they still had like a still a great moment and stuff. And then um, Alex um, and Far Car fight after Car gets home, and then it's the morning time, and basically she's getting off the bus, and she hears that someone got hurt in the woods, and she goes to check on it, and it turns out that uh, Kenny is dead. And then Car is mad at everyone for mourning Kenny because they were all making fun of him, so now they're mourning him just because he's dead. And then Kara um, overhears the bully, the jock, um, saying something that could place him there. So Kara goes to confront him and basically has an alibi, but he'll still come pot. And yeah, <laughs> that happened. And then um, the, the, we find out the telescope is missing after uh, Kara visits the family. And then um, the cop uh, warns her just. Let us do our job, and it'll be fine. But she, he didn't want her in like in a threatening way; just kind of just want her in like in a friendly way, like let the police handle it, and everything will be fine. But uh, Cara searches for the telescope, and um, Alex follows her, and she literally almost um, hit her with the, uh, her laser vision. And then Alex says, "Like, don't do that." And she said, "I'm sorry. I'm scared. I'm a little freaked out." So. Um, and then she, uh, Alex suggests to use her x-ray vis vision to find the items. So she does that and finds the laptop. And then we have Kenny was um, blackmailing uh, Bernard the teacher with a student. And then um, Alex confronts um, the girl, which is named Josie. And then um, she loves him, wants to be with him. So silly. And then um, Josie um, uh, storms off. And then basically, Alice was trying to get to her. It didn't work out. And so um, it just did not go well. Then Alice and Car talk. And then someone tried to kill them. And they think it was Sister Bernard because that's who they were talking about. And then Liza uh, fusses at Cara. And then an agent uh, looks like her mom uh, tells her to stop. And then she, um, then Carfuss is at her. 
and then uh, car kind of breaks down, and then the agent comforts her, and uh, car says she'll stop with the superpowers and all that type, all that type of stuff. It just leave everything be. It turns out the agent was John Jones, and then uh, then Josie tells Alex off, and that Bernard was with her the whole time, so that wasn't the person that tried to run off the road. And then, um, then out the car talks some more, and car says, "I can't. I'm not doing anything else. I just want to leave it be." So she goes. So Alice goes off on her own, and talks to the um, the sheriff, and then tells him everything. And then, um, as they're going through the computer, um, one of her friends, one of Clark's friends, Chloe, knows how to decrypt stuff. So she was decrypting um, the uh, message. The, uh, all the files and stuff, and it turns out the sheriff um, has some pretty. It's in a drug ring, <laughs> and that so the sheriff um, holds Alex hostage, and then Car gets to her, and then knocks out the sheriff. Then Alex and Car get um, along better, and then Kenny knew about Car but didn't say anything, and then we have Lee gives. Uh, the um, Mr. Lee gives Carr the telescope, and then we have a present day where um, Alice and Carr talk, and Alice apologizes for being a bit of an ass. <laughs> and then Liza gives them food for the road, and then they start to bicker again because Alice wants to drive and Carr doesn't. And then they drive off better and sing along to the Gwen Stefani song, which I do not like. Everything else of hers, I pretty much like it. So for that flipping song, a sweet escape. I don't like it. Anyway, that's that's the end of the episode. It was a really good episode. Um, it did remind me a lot of uh, the premise of Riverdale. I never seen the show, but I know the context of it, and I think it was very in line of that. Um, but to seventeen year olds trying to fight crime and that type of thing, I don't know. Like I said, what that show's about, but. It's the same type of vibe I felt like they were trying to go for for that episode. So, um, but I do like how, you know, it's like her origin story of how she's become, like, became Supergirl and stuff. So I do like that. And gave a little bit more to her childhood and how it was when the car first got there. So I thought it was a pretty good episode. So I'll give it, I'll give it a B plus. There's a few things. I was just like, eh. But anyway, I'm not really good. So, um. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I want you to have an awesome day. I'll see you on my next video, which will be, of course, really soon because I'm doing The Flash and Legends. So, yeah. Bye, everybody.